Ladies and gentlemen, I don't know why I said that, ladies and gentlemen, viewers of the YouTube, uh, I am here in Erie, Pennsylvania. Erie isn't too far from Montreal, my city. Uh, it's close to Canada, it's just south of Lake Erie, which means that it's still very much winter time in Erie. Uh, and, and people sometimes say about cities in Canada and probably places like Erie that there's not so much to do in the winter time, you should come back in summer. But I find if you keep an open mind and you do a bit of planning, you can always find something to do. And this is really cool. I've never actually used something like this, but Erie, the, the tourism people gave me an app called Hello Erie. It's got a list of all the attractions. I mean, not everything, but all the attractions they recommend. Ashbury Woods Nature Center, five miles away. Yeah, I think it's a pretty neat tool. I wish every city would do this. Anyway, the plan today is I've got a rental car. I've actually got a rental truck. So I'm gonna be driving around the Erie area. Uh, I'm gonna show you a bit of downtown. I'm gonna show you a state park. And along the way, hopefully have some delicious food. So you guys ready for this adventure? Let's go. So last night, I arrived in Erie. Uh, it was a bit late, so I immediately went for dinner. And I went to get a steak because I just arrived in America. So I had my steak meal, and at the same place I was having my, uh, my dinner at, they had this axe throwing thing. So I went to this place called Erie Axe Throwing. My first time ever throwing axes. I'm not gonna lie, I missed the target about a hundred times before I, got, before I got that one to stick. But I caught it for the video and that's all that matters, right? <laughs> you gotta learn the technique, but once you get it, it's awesome. But yeah, you know, throwing some axes, eating a steak, it was a good way to start the trip. Now let's drive. That's some good American flag waving right there, if I do say so myself. All right, so I'm definitely gonna show you more of downtown Erie at some point on this trip. But what I wanna do right now is take you to a place called Presque Isle State Park. And Presque Isle, if you check this out on Google Maps, it's pretty cool. This is downtown Erie. This skinny little road goes to the state park which is right here on Lake Erie. So obviously I've never been there before, but it looks like it'll have pretty nice views of the lake. I know that in the summertime, it's a very popular beach destination. And yeah, let's go find out. Hey, you guys coming or not? Come on. Wow, look at that. It's not too cold for the birds, that's for sure. In fact, right now with the sun out, it's not too bad at all. Oh my God, that's ice, okay. <laughs> I thought that was the shore. Like I thought this was shallow shoreland over here, but that's actually frozen ice that all the birds are standing on. Yeah, beautiful lake. My understanding is that this season, this winter has been very warm, which is why there's only a little portion that's frozen right now. But typically in February, I would imagine all of this would be frozen. Hey, 
I actually saw a sign back at the entrance of the park saying that there's hunting in some parts of this park. I wonder what they're hunting. Hopefully not YouTubers. No, it's duck hunting season. Faster! All right, it's time to put the coat back on. I'll tell you, one impression I get of Erie so far is, you know when you go to a new country, there's always a couple of cities everyone wants to go to. I mean, in the United States, it might be New York or Los Angeles. In France, it's Paris. England, it's London. And of course, like, there's a reason people want to go there because that's where the most like attractions are. They're very unique cities. But you're not really getting a taste of what life is actually like for most people in that country. To get a taste of what life is actually like, for average people, you need to go to a place like Erie. You need to go to a place where you are more off the path, off the tourist path. Go to a place where you can find these quiet, natural moments. You can find a different side of the culture than you do in the big cities. Welcome to Peak and Peak. Just got my ski pass. We are about 30 minute drive away from Erie. Uh, this is a major ski resort in the area that I got a ticket for today. And I'm not the only one with a ticket here today. Look at this parking lot, it's packed. It's about plus two degrees Celsius, so very nice day right now. I don't know what that is in Fahrenheit. You Americans will have to uh, do a Google search to figure that one out. But the point is, it's a very nice day. We're gonna go skiing. We're gonna show you what the nature is like a little bit outside of Erie. I can't wait. Let's go. Oh yeah, so I had to buy new sunglasses. Because my other one's broke. I always buy cheap sunglasses because I find that I'm always breaking my sunglasses. But then I started to think, maybe I'm always breaking my sunglasses because I buy cheap sunglasses. It's like the chicken and egg thing. Which one came first? I don't know. Anyway, we're here. I gotta wrap my skis. The best part of skiing is skiing. But the worst part of skiing is walking in ski boots. What a day. Man, I forgot how much I love skiing. There's nothing like being out there. Uh, one thing I didn't forget is how much I like eating. So right now I'm outside a place called the Sugar Shack. I just popped my head inside. It looks like a pretty cool ski lodge area. Very cozy. So uh, I'm gonna see what they have for food and have some lunch. So I'm here, I'm keeping it simple. I got a dozen barbecue wings coming and I got a red ale. Actually, it's called the Shred Ale. This is a local beer made by Peak and Peak. Hits the spot. You know one thing I noticed today? You know when you're skiing on your own, you end up going up the lift with a lot of strangers because you're a single, so you'll get some other singles sitting next to you. 
And every time that happened, I would have a good conversation with the person I was going up with. I met a woman from another neighboring town. I met a guy from Erie and had these great conversations with everyone. I just realized that's part of the appeal for me about Erie. People are just very down to earth. People are very outgoing, very, uh, yeah, just great people, you know? Great people, great food, proximity to nature like this. That's what Erie's all about for me. As always, guys, I'm Dan from The New Travel with my new sunglasses. I'm gonna try not to break them this time. See you next time, guys. Camera.